In this problem, we want to determine the electron pair geometry and the molecular geometry, in this case for I3 minus. So I start by doing the Lewis structure. I have 3 times 7 plus one more electron, so that gives me a total of 22 electrons. I put iodine in the middle. I'm going to fill my octet around my terminal atoms. And once I've done that, I see I've got 16 electrons used. That means I have six electrons remaining. So I put those on the central atom, so I have an expanded octet. For my central atom, I have A. For X, for bonding groups for them in the central atom, I have two, and I have E, three. So what that tells me is I have five electron groups around the central atom. I have two are bonding and three are non-bonding. And now I can see that this is going to have, for my electron pair geometry, this is going to be trigonal by pyramid, and my molecular geometry is going to be linear. Remember that the molecular geometry is based on the electron pair geometry and the balance between the number of bonding and non-bonding groups.